everyone, this is Christine. This is my brother, Michael. Greetings and salutations, felicitations of the season. He is 12 years old and he just learned about the reproductive system in his science class in his junior high. So he's going to be helping me go over it today. And we're going to start here with the male reproductive system. Um, the sperm, before they are fully mature, reside in the testes. And in order to become fully mature, they travel to the epididymis, which will be right about here. We'll go with this. Where they become fully mature, and they begin the first step of their long and arduous journey. Here in the epididymis, they become quiet. They become fully mature, and will move on through the vast difference, d d deference, is that right? I don't know. Oh, you're so not helpful. Thank you. The vast deference in order to reach the nutrients that they will need, which is the semen and that holds all the glucose that will keep the sperm alive in the uterus. So they will have to move quickly. They will have to move quickly, Michael. Michael. They will have to oh. move quickly. Thank you. Participatory. Yes, this is participatory. You, I said quickly, dude. Just get him over here. Okay. Move along the vast difference. These um, barrels represent the sacs that hold the semen, which is the nutrients for the sperm. The sperm will... Okay, fine. I don't care if they look like sailors, Dad. I didn't have any sailors. Ha ha, very funny. Okay. Get it, semen. <laughs> All right. They will travel very quickly into the vagina of the female. From the vagina, they will move up through the uterus to... This is the uterus, right? Get to, yes, this is the uterus, Michael. They will move up to the uterus and up to the fallopian tube where they will await to fertilize the egg that emerges. Fallopian tube, Michael Jeffrey, up here. I don't know where the... Oh, Keep up. Okay. And the... Okay, wait a minute. Where's the ovary? Okay, hold on. We have a new ovary. Ovary? <laughs> It's called recycling, okay, dude? Okay. It's called transsexual. Here is our egg. Oh, hold on. Wrong side. Here is our egg. And while all of this... Get back! You're not allowed in the ovary. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. OO site. As my father keeps pointing out, this is the OO site. And while she is inside of the ovary, she... And while the semen is traveling, she is preparing for her journey out into the fallopian tube to be fertilized and then into the uterus with releases of hormones like estrogen, progesterone, I think is what it's called, and what's the other one? The one that starts with an F. What's that? Um. I don't remember. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. I didn't practice this. This and FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. It's a follicle. It's getting the stimulating hormone, and then once it's ready to go out and meet her handsome prince, she will be ejected from the ovary into the fallopian tube, which is right here, and she will move along and be fertilized by one of the handsome viral sperm that is. Gross, Michael. <laughs> that is awaiting her. From there, the two will move into, the fertilized egg will move into the uterus, where it will attach to the lining. That is rich with nutrients and blood that the developing fetus will eventually require. Mike. That's okay. 
What? You're so mean. And that is pretty much the reproductive system right there in a nutshell. It's an eggshell? Okay, in an eggshell, not a nutshell. Michael, what are you doing? Eat me. Okay, well, it's hard-boiled, so you can after we're done. Um, okay, that is about it. Thanks for paying attention. You're welcome. If you did. <laughs> yes, Michael, thank you for paying attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs>